Hello everybody, welcome to another CSGO editing tutorial. In this one, I'm going to show to create depth of fields using FL depth in After Effects. So obviously we're going to need the merge stream layers, uh, the depth, uh, green screen and the world layer. So to start off with, we need the world layer and create a composition with that, like so. Uh, next, we need the green screen layer on top of that and we need to add key light to it. Alright, so once you add a key light, it should get rid of the green screen like so. So the edges might look a bit jagged around the view model and stuff. Uh, that's just because I have the preview set to half. If, if you have any lower than this, uh, it'll be even more jagged. So if I set the quarter quality, it'll look like this. I have it set to half just because I want to be able to scrub through the preview and not have it uh, super laggy. Alright, so once you have that done, we need to go ahead and add the depth layer on top, like so. Make sure you hide it. Once that is done, right click, new, adjustment layer, and then go ahead and add FL depth to the adjustment layer like so. And I'm just going to scrub to somewhere here, that's a bit easier to see the depth. For the depth layer, we need to select that, this is the clip that you hid earlier, like so. And for radius, go ahead and create this to something that looks decent, so I'm just going to do 30. And for depth buffer, uh, check the box for invert, and there you go, you have the uh, depth of field effect on already. And uh, for iris, you can go ahead and play around with this. If you want to check what it looks like, just press, uh, just do the show, it's like the iris, like so. And you can have a round bokeh, or if you really want to, you can have a triangle or a pentagon or something like that. That's just, that's up to you really. And um, so yeah, that's pretty much the basics of uh, creating the depth of field in After Effects, just use the adjustment layer like so. Uh, now, one of the things you can do with FL Depth, and I'm pretty sure with any other depth as well, uh, I'm just going to show you real quick, is to actually change the focus of the uh, depth of field. So, you can have it focusing on uh, the view model, or you can have it focusing on uh, the player that he's shooting at. Uh, just depends on what you want your edit to look like. Alright, so go to wherever you want the uh, focal point to change. So I want it to change when he shoots at this player. Go ahead and check the uh, timer next to the focal point, like so, and press U on your keyboard whilst having uh, adjustment layer selected, like so. You should see a keyframe here, and uh, go forward a bit when you want to change when you want the focus to change. I'm just going to move the uh, first keyframe back. Press the selector and uh, select where you want the focus to be, like there and as you can see the uh, focal point has become the player here and you see the view model has been blurred out like so so as it as he moves along and shoots at the player the view model becomes blurred like so and as he moves away i want the focus to come back so create another keyframe here and as he moves away the focus should come back to the view model like so Alright, so there you go, that's pretty much the basics of using FL Depth. It's pretty simple and pretty much similar to any of the other depth plugins really. Uh, but this one, I just wanted to show you, you can change the focal points and uh, you can have this uh, kind of effect with the view model blurred. Hopefully you found this tutorial helpful. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all in the next one.